What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and today we're gonna do some judgment. And, uh, just bought a draft here, and it looks like. So sad. We have a good creature in Storm Knight, an uh, okay creature in Gusly Azuler. Not much else, but then Rally and Earth and Mirth are very good growth scrolls. So here I will take the Storm Knight, even though Stackhart goes better with like Earth and Mirth and Rallying and Gustily Zuler, I think I have to take the creature on turn one. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I see a decent growth creature in Earthborn Keeper and a decent energy creature in Boom Reaper here. Um, but first up here, I'll take the Earth and Mirth over the Rally. Although Rally is great countdown reduction, Earth and Mirth will just be OP if my opponent doesn't have a way to deal with the creature that's earthen mirthed. Especially if earthen mirthed. A grave hawk right here. So believe it or not, as like a, you want like nice big chunky creatures in judgment, but grave hawk with earthen mirth I really like, so I'm actually gonna take the grave hawk here. And I'll take the earthborn keeper here because earthen mirth on a one cat on creature is also very good. Um then I have a brother wolf and a ragged wolf here, that's good. Uh, I'll take one of those. And there's a ragged wolf and a gusly azul here. I'll have to make a tough decision there. Up here, I could take the him goes on my color of growth, which I'm in the mostly right now. And I think I will do that just because the other scrolls here are not very appealing. I mean, Grave Hawk Akas is okay, but it's still not very appealing. So I'll just take the him. Now, I will... Honestly, I'd rather take the bigger creature. Big creature should want judgment. So I'll take the Brother Wolf over the Ragged Wolf. Even the Ragged Wolf uh, is really awesome. And Ragged Wolf is obviously more bang for your buck than Gusly Azuler. But like I said, I think having the like the strong high cost units are is really really nice in judgment. So I'll take that. Then a lot of tell does give regeneration and magic armor. So if I put that on something, that would be great. I have another lot of tell here. I think it's better than underdog spite. So I'm gonna do that. I'll take both a lot of tells here, and so there's a ragged wolf here, which is good, and then a outcast rebel and a rumble. So this is. So far, pretty good draft. And then there's a Wetland Ranger. So, we'll grab that over the Outcast Rubble. And now, I could go for the Wicked Being and just be able to splash it so that I have like almost like a low Dark Lane in the deck. But I'm not sure if I'm splashing Decay yet. I have Eagle's probably not necessary because I'm going to probably have a lot of creatures in growth. Seeing as I have like 7 already in like the first 13 picks. So, you know what, I'm actually going to take the Eye of Eagle. I'd rather just stay mono right now, mono color. But I have no growth scrolls here, so now I'm going to have to look up for something to splash. And Transition is a splashable scroll, so I'll grab that. Another Button Ranger here is really awesome, although the burn's amazing, we're not in energy. Well, Binary is a pretty good scroll in Judgment Beast, it's almost like removal, but I want to get the, the other Button Ranger. Um, Spark is a decent scroll to splash. Oh, uh... Mm, not my faction color. I'll take the Resident Helm. Okay, so well in Ranger, and now we have a lot of absence of growth scrolls. Splashing Desperation wouldn't be too bad. Uh, and I'm also splashing Spark, but I Copper Auto wouldn't be a bad splash either. Let's go for the desperation though, because I have, because I have that relentless guy, the Grave Hawk. So I kind of want to go. No, oh, no, Copperado. That's better. That's a better choice. I'll go for the Spark here. I'm getting good order stuff now, but I want, I want to get back to the growth stuff. Blind Rage is a little more costly, but it's a really awesome removal. So I'll. Grab that so I can go a little deeper here. Striped Fang Bear is good. All the and Psalm Giant are also very good. I think I want to stay on color with a nice, strong creature. This isn't giving me energy, so I'll take that, especially because I'm actually in energy a little bit. And Earthborn Mystic is an awesome draw. Stone Runner can get rid of lingering spells, but we definitely, like I said, stay on color here. I'll take the Rose Gummer, just because the best there. And there's a Sister Bear, so Sister Bears are not very good, but decent creature. In growth, so I'll take it. Now, Blood Boil gives replenish, so that will let me go into another faction for two costs, but like like all the energy stuff, 
like spark and like desperation. So let's take the storm runner here because I have that sandpack memorial so I can get this guy out and this guy's a monster. He's so strong. Um like here, down here, Fury, I can go to the sandpack memorial and Fury and have my units attack. Here I'll go for the ball boil for the replenish. Now we have a decent amount of creatures right now. I think it might be better to take like utility scrolls than creatures right now for in my splashing faction. So I'll take the blast strike instead of the hard smuggler, even though the hard smuggler is obviously stronger. Uh, Copper auto is good there. Unless I draw like an eclipse, then I would take the necro gun. I have a lot of creatures that are not that many creatures that are low attack actually. So underdog spite wouldn't be that good, but I'll take it anyways. I mean. Fury's great with like if I get the if I get the sand pack, but I think underdog spite would be a better thing to get right now. And fertile soil. It would be nice to get a mage wolf to get those ragdolls attacking. But fertile soil will get me awesome card draw, so I'll grab that. Um I don't know, regenerator that can deal idle damage. Nice. Nice splashable guy there. And then a fertile soil. Another brother of the wolf. But up here do I want to take the Purification and Alarm Vital. Uh, I'm not in order, so why would I take Purification? <laughs> Another, it's like third Alarm Vital. Brother of the Wolf over the Alarm Vital here. Fulmination Conduit, I don't know why. There's another another Fertile Soil. Budding Retreat can get me to play things more often, or I can take the Blood Boil for more... Uh... But Budding Retreat can help my opponent, so I'm just going to take the Blood Boil and it's more replenished so I can get to the energy stuff. And then I might actually just be able to go straight into like going to energy resources without using the replenish because I'll have a lot of cars from the sort of soils so I can ramp into it kind of easy and there's another wetland ranger here which is really good so this is a pretty good growth deck champion ring goes well on the one countdown rangers and my relentless guy so that's good and noadi is another big replenish dude here I don't know I'm not I'm not in decay uh I don't think I need oh, another wetland ranger wow I don't think I need the eye of eagle yeah, I have a lot of creatures. Not a lot. Actually, I don't have a lot, but I think I'd rather have the... Or I might go actually Mono Growth. So... I might not... I want... The removal is so nice, though. Let's take the Noadi. Now, Owl, Well and Ranger, and... Ether Bump. Okay, let's see what we can do. We can actually go Mono Growth. Let's see. We can do all this, we can get mono growth. But then we have like a sandpack memorial, which is kind of a waste. Because we're not going to energy, so we will look at energy stuff. So let's, we could actually look at all the factions. Here we would get a trans. Uh, no. Here we would get. Uh, no. Yes, this looks much more appetizing. So let's put the cards back that we don't really want. Not really Ivy Eagle, not really him. I don't think I'm going to want Owl. Let's put back underdog spite. Okay. So. Let's put in both sparks. B is the blood boil gets good replenish for the sparks. Let's put in. I honestly don't think I need the copper automatons. That might be all I I don't think I need the sandpack more, so I'm just gonna use the blood blows to get to the sparks. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for the. I'm not gonna go for like the things that are more resources, and then I'll keep the storm the storm runner around maybe. Just for when I'm playing like the Noadi, because that's three. Uh, that's gonna be three replenish wild, right? Yeah, I don't need any of that stuff. Yeah, no. And fill it out with two copper automatons. Okay, so. I think this is a very strong deck and it should be a 5 winner. So, yeah, nice strong 4 drops here. A couple of fertile soils. So let's queue up and I'll be back when a match is found. Alright guys, here we go. Vincent Sebelin. Vinz, Vincent. Usually I say Vincent, so with a C there. I'm, I think it's probably pronounced the same as Vincent. Vincent.
That's weird. He is a higher. He, I thought it matched this, I thought it matched the judgment players on their current record with the, with the deck. Interesting. Well, this will be a tough uh, tough match then. But uh, that was a bad. I shouldn't have mulliganed there. <laughs> well, and there's that. Uh, let's get rid of the yellow line with salt. Dark line for growth. Okay, so he's order squire. So he gets the first creature out. Copper Automaton. You know what? We don't have any early drops anyways. Let's get rid of the champion ring. Just go play with the Copper Automaton and then I'll go for uh I'll go for wild and maybe I can get the sparks going as well. Because I don't have early drops, so may as well use the early game to destroy his stuff. He sacrificed him for scrolls, that's interesting. Okay, so a one cost scroll for a one cost scroll. I mean, it does hurt me a little bit more because of the fact. I'm actually gonna get rid of the Gusly Azula here. Um, because I like both sparks, especially now that I have enough energy to play the sparks. But him using one cost scroll to destroy my cost scroll, that's fine. So he's going for a decay. So we're both in multiple factions right now. I didn't expect to be sacrificed for energy on the second turn of the game. Uh,. Let's get rid of the Copper Automaton now. And end our turn. Okay. So. Next turn I'll be able uh, just to cross him in. I'm not worried about that guy. If I get an Earthen Mirth on this Wetland Ranger, I'll be able to go to work. Okay, let's get rid of the Outcast Rebel. Like I said, I think the uh... I'm actually have enough energy to like play like Storm. Uh, not Storm. Yes, yeah, Storm Runner. <laughs> so now next, I'm gonna put you in the you in the back because I think he's gonna be doing more of a job as a damage dealer, not really an uh, idle pillage user. Because I'll probably get the Earthen Mirth on him this coming turn. Maybe not if he doesn't engage me. If he engages me, I'll, I'll probably do it. And he does not engage me. Okay. So maybe I'll hold off on doing that. Fertile soil. Uh, That's interesting. Do I... I have two fertile soils in the deck. I think I'm just going to sacrifice this one for scrolls. Um, Alright. There we go. I don't really feel the need to, unless he's like a Rosa Bean Post, that'd be bad, but I don't feel the need to have to spark this. I'd rather just get the Storm Runner out, I think. So let's. Oh. Shoot. I thought I could play the Storm Runner and the Brother Wolf. I guess it's not a big deal. So now this coming turn, he might actually try to engage me because of that Cross Woman attacks. But I have a spark for that. Okay. Um, he's still not engaging me. I don't need the bubble oil anymore because I have like. Because I have energy. I'm actually going to sacrifice for growth so I can play the earthen mirth on you to start doing massive idle damage and I can destroy you with the spark just to save myself from some idle damage and separate a little bit just in case there's like pother flips going on and this is going pretty solid so far oh, I'm not gonna say very well because he does have a lot of scrolls he hasn't really been ramping up I think he should be ramping up higher oh so he has purification it's a little annoying that he got rid of my four cost enchantment with the one cost enchantment, but it's good to know that he plays that. And it's also good that he he played the Righteous Parson without getting card draw. Um, I would love to keep the spark, but I think it's better just to get another creature out this to a couple more creatures, so I'm actually going to sacrifice this spark. And this Eternal Sword dude kind of scares me. 
so... Let's get rid of that spark. Fertile soil here wouldn't be too bad. So now, I think I'll just play both of those. And I'm gonna have to come at him from both sides, I think. It looks like what it's gonna be like. Okay. So he'll have middle idle, but I'll be coming, coming at him on two fronts. You can't fight a war on two fronts. Just like you can't fight a scrolls match on the top and the bottom of the board. Well, you can if you have enough units on the board, but that kind of screws up my analogy. So, oh, Ducal Serena, that's a little annoying because I don't have range grace to just deal with that. So, it looks like he's wanting to come down. I'm afraid of that Storm, number, storm Runner, rightfully so. Honestly, I might just sacrifice what's going on on the bottom of the board there. Yeah, I might just sacrifice that because I can get that Storm Runner like going, and then it might be smooth sailing. So what I have? I have five growth right now. Five growth resources. I mean, I could fertile soil. You know, I'll fertile soil the wolf. Now, let's get rid of the Ilan Vital. Get more growth stuff. And I can play two cost. So just play the ragged wolf and do more stuff. I probably should move this. I don't want to get this guy in this guy in harm's way though. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep it like this. I could move down, but I don't want to get that storm in harm's way. So I'm getting rid of that scavenger construct. Yeah, I probably should have actually moved both those top units down because I would be uh, giving up my earthborn keeper. But getting that storm runner closer to the action would be amazing. Anyways, I could probably just rumble those guys into my attack zone. Actually, a lot of it's all maybe I shouldn't have sacrificed because that would give me one extra attack if I put on a creature and then put on the Earthborn Mystic. Okay. Like, this deck would be really good against, like, a Poison deck or something. Although Poison... I'm not even sure if Poison is physical damage on the live server right now. But, um, a lot of it's all actually, along with the, uh, the Magic Armor, it does heal you every turn as well, so... Either way, I'd do good in the poison. Faith duty, what? Well, that's kind of annoying. Not really, because I wasn't really going to be able to mash into him anyways, because of that 4 health uh, spiky unit in front. But it's still pretty annoying. So this Storm Runner is actually not going to be able to hit anything this turn. Uh, Rumble is going to be valuable. Yeah, Rumble is going to be valuable. I guess I can search scrolls. Okay, good. Um, well, not much I could do, is there? I could rumble and hope things go my way, but really, what am I hoping that's going to happen? I guess I'm just going to move down. Get... I don't want to lose these guys. I think I might just lose them though. I could try to protect them. Yeah, I will do that. I'll give up my Gravehawk because I'm also also getting a Fang Bear out. So let's see. So let's give up the Gravehawk and play Fang Bear right there all right so I have, a, I have a lot of strong units on the board he doesn't really have as many strong units as i do 
And next time Stormrunner attacks, will probably be able to rumble turn to try to move him into my attack radius. His attack zone. Okay. Ilan Vital. By the way, just random fact about Nerp, Elon is my middle name. Alright, so he had that scroll that accomplishes that, but at least he had to play a scroll to do that. Now, I could rumble and hope I can destroy like this Duke Lim's droid at the end of his turn. Okay. Uh. Is there a way I can get three attack with this guy? If I play the Mystic, the Alon Vital. You'd have two. Okay, if I top deck like a Ragged Wolf, I could do it. Let's get rid of the Ranger. No Adi, that does it. That is good enough. So. I don't know how I want to do this though to, for maximum protection. So I want to kill you, and he'll he'll get to choose one row to increase their cap down by one. And then let's go like this, and then I'm wasting kind of the I'm not really wasting it because I'm mean, using to destroy that guy, but he'll easily be destroyed this turn. Okay, so. Probably what he's going to do is use his Versus Partisan to destroy the Earthborn Keeper and then use Dual Insurance to increase the countdown on one of the rows, I'm not sure. Like, I kind of lured him here. Hopefully he did moves down and destroys the Ragged Wolf, even though it's attacking next turn. Um, then he doesn't increase the countdown on any of my rows. So putting my creatures in rows like that is a little... Oh, if he has a Focus now, that's that'd be a little unfortunate. Like, he had Eternal Sword on the deck, but it's on this Squire right now. Man, that's the, that's the Squire that he put down on turn two. Revenant and good. It looks like my Stormrunner survives, so... I will... R oh no, I forgot the... Uh, that two Glow Fisherman increased the countdown. I forgot about that. Is the music really loud right now? I feel like a slash. Man, it's fine. Okay. Um, Let's go. I could go for a Rumble... To try to pry out this revenant, but is that really worth it? Honestly, I don't think so. I think I have to sacrifice your scrolls. Blood boil. Hmm. <laughs> let's let's hit the idol. Start by doing that. So what is he? What is he doing here? He's gonna have one, two plus four. Okay, let's protect the storm runner. So let's put a well ranger there, kind of giving him up. And then let's protect you guys, because you're attacking. Okay, so I could easily lose both my well rangers this turn, which would suck, because they're both attacking next turn for two damage. But I have other awesome guys attacking. If that three health, if that three health, if that three attack storm runner survives it'll be really good but the, he'll probably die considering vincent zeppelin has six scrolls so he probably has something that increases attack by one but at least then then i have all my other units survive okay and yeah that'll do it That'll be enough to kill the Storm Runner, but at least my other units survive. And, and yeah, that Storm Spacer is pretty good because then he's able to destroy instead of one unit, like three units. Okay, and some nice four health there. Okay, but I still have all these guys attacking and two. Wow. Another two wetland rangers went with that one that dies. I think I had four range four wetland rangers in the deck, right? Uh 
Would this be a rumble turn? I think so, actually. I think it would be. I would want to destroy the things that are attacking, right? You know what? Let's, uh... Let's actually keep one of those blood boils. Champion ring. Oh, that's good. That is good. So blood boil would. Let's see. So I want to. Do I need the rumble? That kills that, and then I can. Just give you some kind of... Okay, let's do it like this. Draw an enchantment. Just getting card draw. Go like this. Blood boil, so you're going to have massive attack soon. Then champion ring. And then a ranger and then a copper. Boom. Alright, now you now you have seven, it's six attack. Okay. So I can give you an Earthen Mirth and you have 10 attacks to take on an idol. The only reason I played the Blood Boil was to give him like an extra 2 attack. It's almost like another champion ring. Probably shouldn't have played this, really not much of a point. But there's little he could do to come back in this game now. I'll be disappointed if this tech doesn't get 5 wins. I haven't gotten 5 wins in a while. It's probably been like... Four or five runs since I've gotten five wins. Maybe three runs, I don't know. At least a couple I haven't gotten five wins. Combination with bad drafting and bad playing, baby. Okay, so I can win soon. Can I win this turn? That's the question. Earthen Mirth. Um, if I do have a way to, one, two, if I have, I could earthen mirth and do that. I actually can easily win if I like just draw another ragged wolf. Let's just sacrifice the rumble, although rumble could be really good. Spark, that's not going to be enough to win, but that's fine. I'll just... Or actually, I can. I'll take out his row. So, GG, yeah, I just took out that row, so. Congrats to him on the uh, 4 win judgment run, and hopefully, I'm on the way to my own 5 win judgment run. So, that'll be it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching, Scrollgers.